hello guys so now when the user click on the select destination button we will send the user to the next page which will be by the name select destination where the user can select the destination location so for that purpose what we can do is in our pages right click on pages new dot file and the name of this will be select destination page let me close the other pages so we can focus on our select destination page import the material dot dot then we create the stateful widget by the name select destination page now we will have two text fields on the first one we will display the uh, pickup location and the other text field will be for the destination location where the user can type and search for destination location so we will initialize two text rating controllers for that and then let's quickly implement the user interface so we will have a scaffold widget body single child scroll view child column widget card widget child container height will be 232 decoration box decoration box shadow box shadow color blur radius spread radius offset after the box decoration we will apply padding from left top right bottom first we will have some space then a back button so icon we will add inside the gesture deductor so gesture deductor on tap and the arrow back icon which is a back button and then center widget we will display title using the text widget we will say select or you can say search destination we will apply a textile on it and as this will be constant so I add a const modifier with the center widget now these two widgets which is gesture deductor the back icon and search de destination we have to add this inside a stack widget so control X cut this from here first we will add a stack widget and inside it we will paste it after the stack widget we will add some space then we will add a pickup text field so using the row widget we can say row we want to add display icon as well alongside with the text field to make it the UI more beautiful so you can say image dot asset I will provide these two icons final and initial by the name final and initial these two image icons download and copy it and come back to your project and inside the assets paste it and then we can say image dot asset inside the assets folder we have image by the name initial dot png with height 16 we set for it then after it some space of V13 decoration box decoration color gray border radius circular 6 after box decoration child padding padding will be agent sets dot all side 2 
child text field controller will be our first one which is for pickup decoration input decoration hint text will be you can say pickup address and then after it the input decoration other properties we will apply like fill color field border is dense and the content padding so this text field is for the pickup now we have to implement another one so inside this row we have an icon initial dot png with a text field for pickup address in the same way we can copy paste this whole row this is for the pickup if you want of course add a comment so you will remember pickup text field with icon and then after it you will have another one which will be for the destination if you want you can say text field with icon so for the destination we have to use the final.png then other important thing is the uh, text field controller which is uh, destination and the hint text will be search here or you can say search destination here like this okay or you can just say search here so it is totally up to you now on the home page when the user click on the button select destination then we send the user to the select destination page so we will simply go to the body and where we have our search location container there is a button which is select destination on the on pressed event we will send the user to the page which is called select destination page now the same click event we can add here on our this where to go for example uh, we will wrap this whole row widget or the best thing will be to wrap this column widget to where to go okay so click here we go to this column C and you will see yellow bulb then wrap with widget and change this to gesture deductor okay and then we can add on tap and the user tap on this we send the user to the select destination page now as this whole column is constant so we will add const modifier here so now let's install the app on our phone to see the result so the app is running now as you can see that and now if we click on select destination it will send us to the search destination page or you can say to our select destination page and also let's add some space between the two text fields so for that purpose as you know this is the two text fields of height 10 so you can see that next thing is the box shadow instead of uh, black 12 if we make it white it will looks more beautiful as you can see more visible and more beautiful and when you click on the back button it will send you to the home page and now when you click on this one where to go it will send us to the select destination page here we have to display the pickup address which we already have which we manage using the provider stat management so in here 
in our widget built on the select destination page we can say string pickup address of user using the provider we can say provider dot of context app info context comma listen false dot pickup location dot human readable address we will check if the human readable uh, address exists then simply get that readable address assigned to this otherwise if it do not exist then simply assign empty string to this pickup address of user and then what we need to do is we have to simply assign this that is pickup text editing controller dot text so on a text field we will display the pickup address of user so for example now let's install the app on the phone so the app is running now and now if you go to select destination then here you can see the pickup address is visible 